Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to Made with Unity Mondays for the 28th of November 2022, where I feature some of the best games, creations, and everything made in Unity. And be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, and everything for game dev. And check out my Patreon to get access to over 170 different scripts, assets, and projects. So we've got Studio Snowblind with the challenge of making satisfying underwater combat. See what you think. Summer clip has got some more insane visuals, combat, and so much more. Soya X8 understands the pain if you've ever tried to make animal AI. Battle Core F has got a look at Battle Core Robots and the demo that'll be released soon. Moby Adej has been working on some horror AI where I could have sworn they were following you around. Elevad has got a city building game which has taken one and a half years and here's the first trailer. Dare Kevin has got a look at his fingerboard skating game. Converting your project to HDRP to make a space adventure, Grosler knows the exact trials and tribulations. Dog Beautiful Boy has got a fully destructible city which has required an inhumane amount of work. The Storm Rider it's got more rough sea with a 1.5 thousand ton ship, but don't get too close. Mato 2 has got an update to how the scooter game is looking. Edgar Rezanov has got a really awesome perspective shift. Mm. 
Waffles Gamma has got Lazy Builder, which is an open source 3D asset importer that could help you out today. Greg Madison has got some mixed reality magic with a standalone color pass through. Neil Jones knows that despite the name of Death in the Water 2, it's absolutely full of life. Dream Tech has got a hoverboarding game and here's the look of the early footage. If only it could be this easy, from Sakura Rabbiter with real-time clothing change. Major McDoom has got cube swarms that do exactly what you tell them. A beginner dev B1 has got a holographic projection shader, which looks absolutely insane. Pika Pawn AMVs has got a game with a concept for copy and paste, and it can copy all the attributes of the item before it. Badgevat Underscore has got a small two dev team for a game called Bullets and Brains. Charlie Morell is getting tired of his main project, so he's given the bean all the powers. So thanks so much for checking out all these creations. Be sure to check out all the links in the description for everything that's available for this month in terms of savings across Game Dev, Unity and so much more. Come and check out my Patreon if you want to get access to over 170 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And check out my great assets on the Unity store and on my website for bonus discounts. Big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whittaker, Jean Pommy, Manos Pericas, Walter Dunson, Rennie Leisure, Topher Chambers, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getterjank, Ishikawa Takuya, Hush, Thomas Mercileski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Osame Abdul, Hogan Nigan, Josh Huang, Thomas Lopez, Curry for Life Gaming, Aaron Lin, Professor Arnold, Sunu, Sungji Park, Mercury27 and Brandon Mannion. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.